I have covered the ISO Hemlock once on the channel already, but that was before a lot of other attachments were in the game. I don't want to spoil what attachments I'm using already, but there's two in particular that really changed the whole ball game for the ISO Hemlock. In my opinion, it was already very good with my previous attachments, but with the additions of some other ones, it got even freaking better. We got no recoil, good damage range, and great damage profile, meaning this is a very good medium and long range assault rifle. This is one attachment that wasn't in the game when I last covered the ISO Hemlock, and that's the Jack Glasses Optic. It's a normal reflex sight at the end of the day, but it does give you fire aiming stability, which is important on MW2 weapons. It's going to eliminate the visual recoil here. For the rear grip, I have the Seiken ZX grip for recoil control and gun kick control. Nothing crazy, 7% across the board to all those categories, but it is important and it makes it easier at the end of the day to hit your long range fights. For an ammunition, type I am using the high grain rounds I'll spoil it right now I'm not running a barrel I almost never run a barrel on my MW2 weapons because the cons are normally outweighing the pros this is going to do a very good job at increasing your damage range by 15% and your bullet velocity at 15% we did sacrifice recoil control but with all the attachments I have on this thing that gets eliminated altogether for under barrel here I have the Bruin heavy support grip that's going to give you gun kick horizontal recoil control and fire aiming stability honestly that targets everything we needed to cover here on the iso hemlock to make it an extremely straight shooter so you're going to get 10 percent to the gun kick eight percent to the horizontal recoil control and even more fire aiming stability in our final attachment another attachment that was not in the game the last time i covered the iso hemlock is the zem compensator and as you guys know it's one of my most used attachments in the entire game so that should speak volumes so that this thing got definitely got better Vertical and horizontal recoil control and fire aiming stability. This attachment, when you pair it up with the optic, we got the muzzle and the underbarrel. No shake whatsoever. It just shoots straight. You can shoot across the map with, with ease with this weapon. And as always, here's all of your attachments on the screen. If you guys want to deposit, copy it down. MW2 weapons are very popular in this game. I get it. But this is one of my favorites, and for good reason. It was one of my favorites in MW2, and still one of my favorites in MW3. You guys are really going to enjoy this one. Here is also the loadout on the screen if you guys also wanted to copy this one down. We're going to jump into a gameplay to feature this absolute laser beam of a weapon, the ISO Hemlock. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for me. Let's get into it. I'm starting to think they took Mercado out of the hardpoint rotation, even though it says it's 100% there, like in the map rotation, because... I wanted to use, oh my God, that's a no, that's a no, we're out of here. Okay, yeah, we're not taking that. I did not expect all six of them to be there. We're gonna go this way, but I was searching for Mercado for a couple of MW2 weapons. I'm trying to cover the big one being the, I wanted to do the MP7 on it. There's another one there. Guy's chasing me to the moon and back. Where did he go? Need recon overhead. Okay. Throwing center. Holy crap. Okay. Reload quick. I like this. Hotel's a good one still. That's not the problem. It's just Mercado's my baby. I, I like this game. I'm also very concerned. Okay, I got a VTOL. That's a start. They are so aggressive, and I'm not using, like, the most aggressive weapon in the world, you know? On the aggressive scale, this is not one of the ones that are up there. It's good, medium, and long-range AR, but... Aggressive is not what it is. That being said, I think I can lock in a DNA bomb here. Got another UAV. This guy thinks he's going to be slick. I don't know what I'm on streak wise. I think it's like a 20. Okay, 
Good stuff, team. All right, no, I'm out of here. Not until there's teammate support. I think I'm going to hit a flank. I think it's going to be a better move. Taking that head on is not it. So I want to hit a flank, but I'm concerned what my flank's looking like. I did push them out, so I should be safer right now. And I think teammates cleared this up right when I got here. Yeah, that would have been the last guy, I believe. If I had, like, the WSP Swarm or something, I'd be in my glory with this lobby. I got a VTOL, but that's not going to help me in this hole. Yeah, definitely not going to help me on this one. That will. And a DNA bomb. Okay, let's clear that out. Oh, I thought it was going to come in and I was going to push the hill. We're down by a lot, but we have a lot of time here. Let's put this right over here. Nice job, team. Oh, we're not on the hill, though. Not nice job. Get on the hill. We're back in the game right now. After this hill, we hold this. Okay. I didn't realize there was three. Requesting recon flyover. I need that. We've secured the lead. Out of bullets in a very unideal spot here. Fifty-three. I'm gonna drop my VTOL right on the center of the hill here. That guy up top. See down low. Up top. Okay. Doesn't look like they're gonna push this. Cool. Another DNA bomb. We're going to save that for if they take over a, an objective or something.
Out of bullets again. I think I'm going to hit the DNA bomb now. Yeah. Well, they didn't spawn where I predicted them to. I should close the game out here. 82 kills, couple of DNA bombs, ISO hemlock. I want Mercado, man. I want it bad.